Hey everybody, Iceman50 here. So we've got our um, two Bluetooth speaker kits. Um, like I said before, we're gonna build one and we're gonna give one away. Now, if you guys want the one that's built, just let me know, it doesn't really matter to me. So uh, let's get started and uh, we'll go over to the bench here and uh, we'll start getting these together, all right? We'll see you in a minute. Alright guys, so let's uh, let's take a look at what comes in the bag here. I got this off of um, AliExpress. It's looked like a fun, neat little project. Um, comes with, you know, some acrylic panels. They give you the speakers. And a bag of parts and a schematic. So, it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm excited for some some chinglish instructions, but I <laughs> I have a I have this also this feeling that it might be all right. So let's see. Okay, what do we get in here? Bluetooth, USB, MP3, infrared receiver. Oh, that means it's got a transmitter. Yeah, transmitter. Oh. All sorts of goodies. Oh, USB cable with a raw end. And I said a little hardware. And let me see if I can find a little bowl um, to put some of this stuff in. All right, I like these little bowls. They're perfect for like parts and stuff. probably for the speakers plastic standoffs I see some resistors some LEDs Ooh, tons of stuff in here there's some not really many parts in here Got a little teeny on off switch some capacitors looks like a little condenser mic interesting I see with a bent pin already what is this? Let me get my uh, x-ray goggles here. They're right here. I'll tell you what this is. This is a CD4017. Hmm, that's a um, CMOS 4017. It's like a, like a counter chip or something. I'd have to look it up. That's interesting. Um, like I said, some LEDs, potentiometer, capacitors, switch. Oh, pretty simple. Man, I see a lot of LEDs. You sell these? A lot of them. So this thing's gonna light up like a Christmas tree, I bet. All right. So, oh, and of course, your circuit board. Oh, gold-plated. Nice. All right, so you guys can see here, Here's the circuit board. Yeah, look at all these diodes, all these LED spots. It's nicely laid out. It's got, you know, the component, the value, all that. This looks, looks pretty simple. So let's pull out our instructions. Well, I don't know if they're, I guess they are instructions. I'm seeing writing on them. It says, Bluetooth audio kit, circuit function. The red terminal of the Bluetooth module is powered by the five volt power supply. The white terminal is the left and right channels of the horn. <laughs> horn. The red line is positive and the black is negative. With the sound of music or other sounds, LED lights will follow the rhythm of the sound. Nice. Nice. The speed of nice. the sound and flash. After successful welding, you can feel the beautiful melody combination of sound and light. <laughs> All right. So, pretty simple. 
pretty simple here. It just tells you component list, what they are. Yeah, there's all sorts of stuff here. Mm -hmm. The installation label of components shall be subject to the component list. Two 25 volt 470 microfarad capacitors are attached, which can be used to change the base effect of the horn. So, um, uh, coils, coils, uh, or chokes and capacitors are used to create uh, filters for speakers. Um, caps, block, base, and chokes or coils cut high frequencies, I think. So, let's, uh, yeah, you can see there's there's no real instructions here, and uh, they just dumped all the parts. So that's why you're gonna need a multimeter here. Let's, uh, let's get on ohms, and uh, we're just gonna need to ohm out the parts and uh, stick them in. So let's get to that. Here. It's all through hole components. There's no there's no surface mount components. So it's pretty simple. So, let's see, R1 is 20K, so, oh man, and these are all like 1% uh, resistors, um, they got the four bands, you can see them, so let's, uh, let's pull all, all our uh, resistors out here, find all the resistors, did I get them all in one shot? Oh, okay. So you can see there's not really many resistors. One, two, three, and four. Okay, perfect. So uh, 20K should be like a red and a couple of blacks. And since these have the four dashes, four lines, um, probably a red at the end. Let's see here. So I found one that has a red, starts red, black, black. So we got our 20K. Bend it over. And we're gonna find R1. Here's R3, R4, R2, R1. Right here. Okay. Stick that in there. Kind of just bend over the leads. And that's it. We'll um we'll do these. Um, we'll do one at a time. Let's see. I want to change my tips. This one's a little bit big. Let's see. Big fat heads in the way. Okay. I'll go with a more of a conical tiny tip here. This will work. Okay. Turn the soldering iron on. All right. So now we're going to see if we can really zoom you in here. This is just gonna touch it. There's one side. There's the other. And then we're just gonna take our cutters, clip it off. Like that. And that's how we're gonna do it. So you can see, we got the first one done. Uh, well, uh, I'll go through and we'll put you in a time lapse and then uh, we'll bring you back when we get to the more interesting part of this. We'll see you in a minute, guys. Hang on.
All right. So we're we got our four resistors in there. You can see those. those little blue guys. Uh, so what else do we have? So let's look around the. So we got a 100 microfarad capacitor, 2.2 microfarad, a 1 microfarad. So there's three capacitors. So we got one. So uh, I'm, I'm guessing that uh, this guy's the little, so here we got 100 microfarad, we got 47 microfarad, and 470, oh, two 470s. Uh, Oh, they said the. I bet you these 470 caps are for the, for the speakers. That's what they were talking about. So we got a one microfarad and this little guy a 2.2. Yeah, this guy's a little 2.2 microfarad capacitor. All right. So let's go with that since it's in my hand. 2.2 is C2. So right here, now, on these, let's zoom you back in here. These, there's a, uh, there's usually a stripe here, see? That indicates ground, which is also the shorter leg on polarized capacitors. So if you put these in backwards, you'll blow them up, and you'll pop their little top on them. So just make sure you get that right. The shorter leg is ground, or the negative. And they show you here on the board, positive on one side, and the shaded area is is negative, which, you know, they kind of look similar, right? So, slide that in here. Like so. Turn it around. A little, quick little soldering. put the other two together here, put the other two caps on. All right, so that's our three capacitors done. So we got four resistors, three capacitors. That's a good go. And what else do we have here? Um, a triode. Q1. Do we... Uh, it's a 9018. It's like super difficult to tell, but so on these, since we only have one three pin TO92 case device, um, this size here, this little thing, that's a TO92 case outline. That's what this part is, TO92. Um, and so this is a, uh, what do they call this? A 9018. They're calling it a triode, I don't know, but it's saying collector base emitter. The, see how the the shape of this is, I can see it. It's like half round and then a flat, and that looks like the same thing. You put the flat to the flat, right? So you just one hole in, stretch a little bit. That's what she said. And then put the last one in. I like to, you just spread these a little bit first go like that don't push it all the way in about halfway in like that right and then we're gonna solder this up like 
isso? Off. All right, what else do we got? Um, let's go to the forty seventeen. Okay, so this is a. Uh, oh, and I figured th th out that this is probably for the LEDs. Um, so you can. This is a forty seventeen. This is an integrated circuit. This is a. Uh, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's eight, eight pins on a side, which means this is a 16 pin dip package integrated circuit, okay? Now what I do with these is you, you take, and to get them to go into the holes, you kind of hold it on one side and just push down with the whole thing that bends all the pins kind of flat at once you see how like those are flat now and you see how these kind of go out at an angle and these are now flatter so you just want to do that to both sides so this chip sits in flat so just the tiniest bit if you do it too much you can always kind of you know take your fingers and bend them back or use a pair of pliers um, now on this there's a little there's a little notch. Can you guys see? There we go. See that? There's like a little notch at the end that, um, and there's a little dot. Let's see. Can you see it? That indicates that this is pin one, this guy right here. So all you got to do is line that up with the notch here. So notch here, notch here. See it just pretty much drops right in. Um, kind of bend the pins at the end a little bit. Just kind of straighten them out with your fingers a little bit. Okay. And then always, you know, when you go to do it, make sure that you your notches line up. Like that. Oops. Like that. Okay. So then... Um, a lot of times I'll use like a piece of tape or something on this side to hold it down or you can just kind of stick your finger under here or whatever temporarily um, I recommend on you know like if you don't have that or you can't use all your fingers at once like that um, you can set it down and then just tack one pin all right just one pin here in the corner if we can get it oh we'll start over here okay just one pin Right now, you can see it's raised up. Right, so all we're gonna do is you're gonna hold it and you're just gonna touch the pin that we soldered to release it and then push down at the same time with your finger. See, now it's sitting flat, it's not coming out. Now we can turn it back around and uh, solder the rest of these pins. we got here a sub potentiometer that's right here this is just a variable resistor you can stick a screwdriver in there and the resistance changes you got a center wiper and you got two outer pins uh, the wiper moves internally in reference to one of the two sides if you turn it one way the resistance gets uh, smaller closer to one side bigger on the other and uh, the opposite for the other side so we just uh, you can see that here, VR1. It's got the little triangle shape. Stick this in here. These pins are just a little. 
with three hole components you know you gotta just kind of wiggle the pins around until everything fits in the hole this in you can see this 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 is like a beginner kit pretty much I was designing and building my own electronics when I you know when I was 12 that were more complicated than this All right. so now that's it we got our microphone chickity check can see that this the holes are off so you can see on the the uh, the wires are on one side and just like on the drawing then you know the holes are on one side so obviously it only goes in one way like I said we, we already figured out kind of which way it goes it goes goes that way you just push it down like that now we can solder it For stuff that sits kind of flush to the board, I always like to do just one pin. And then you see how it set it raised up? So just do one pin. Like I said, get your finger behind there and then push on it. Okay. Now she's sitting flush. And now we can do the other pin. So, what else do we have? Oh, it looks like we got a couple of couple of straps here too. They want you to put a blank wire in here. So, uh, it looks like there's only two of those. That's to jump over uh, some traces. See, like this one has to go to that one, but there's traces in between. So, for a single-sided board, this is a you know this is how they used to do it. You just take how convenient. We've got our a cutoff lead from a resistor, or whatever. You just bend one side and then and then we measure like this right and then we'll just take a pair of pliers and we will bend it over to the right size so it fits in the hole So that you wind up ending up with is this little kind of looks like a staple all right you know just get it all squared up and then you can just push it in there okay there's one of them and then just bend the leads slightly outwards to hold it in place like that and then when you let go, it won't drop through. So save your little, your little nubbins here, the little clipped off resistor leads, because I always do that anyways. You never know when you might need one. Okay. All right. Um, so it looks like the only parts that we've got left A second. Oh, bumped you. I'll be right back and we'll we'll start with that. Hang on. On an LED, there's a long side and a short side. The short side is a cathode. Also, uh, you can't really see it on these, but on, on the cathode side, the, the cases of the LED is flat. That's the negative. So the shorter lead or the, or the, the negative of the cathode goes to the minus symbol. So for these, it's all the same. Just push it in. And it looks like they want to sit down flush, so like I said, we'll just sit it down. We'll we'll tack one side to make sure that it's sitting flush and then we'll we'll keep moving on, right? Like that. And, and you can see that it's not sitting flush anymore. So we'll heat up the the one side. Push it down with our thumb, 
now it's sitting flat. Don't forget to do that, otherwise all your LEDs will be crooked, and if they've got to fit in some kind of machined hole or something, they won't line up. So I'll uh, I'll finish the rest of these, and then we'll we'll come back to the interesting bit. That's what it should look like. Get all the LEDs, everything soldered. You can see the only pads that aren't soldered are the, the plus five volts on the ground, VCC and ground, right? And that's where our, um, I'm assuming that's where our plug is gonna go. No. All right, a bunch of stuff going on here. Ah. Uh, See what I meant about holes lining up? See, it's got holes through this this case here, right? So, it looks like it goes like like this. So we pull those plug back out. It's pulling the whole plug out. There we go. All right, so let's let's get this uh, paper off of here. It's like laser cut acrylic. Let me do the rest of these pieces and, oh, hang on a second. We'll be right back. We got all our pieces out. Um, obviously, we know that the, the speakers go 
cool on these two guys. So let's see if we can put these together here. So it looks like that. What does that switch go to? Um, well, I would assume it would be to the whole thing. So maybe what we're going to do is um, we'll pull out. Um, hmm. What are we going to do here? Mm -hmm. Just trying to think. Maybe we'll the, the power to the Bluetooth module. Let's see what happens when we plug this thing in. Um, hang on a second. Let me uh, let me get a brick. All right, everybody. Uh, one thing I wanted to note, you know, I thought it was odd that there's a 4017 on here. It's just a ring counter, basically. A CMOS ring counter, I see. So the microphone, I plug this in and this lights up, just one. And every time you kind of tap the microphone, it'll move from LED to LED. I'll show you in the end. Um, but so this, this kind of turns on here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to lift up uh, one side of this and we'll run... Um, this wire from ground over to the switch and back so we're just gonna switch ground so I'll lift this one up and then that way the power switch will turn on this board and this at the same time when we turn it off it'll turn everything off so let me uh, we'll get to that and then we'll try to mount this all together here Alright guys, so uh, <laughs> I found the pictures and uh, we were supposed to put these LEDs coming out the side, um, but it won't matter. It'll make it unique. So we got our switch here and uh, the wire is supposed to come through this hole also. They probably come from the back side because it doesn't fit the other way. Alright everybody, so we got our... Bluetooth speaker, got the USB cord, it's in the off position, we're going to plug it in, okay you guys ready? Hey. Bluetooth is started, please connect. <laughs> it's, see it's funny, the microphone can pick up vibrations, right, and this thing's loud. Uh, well, I'm not going to be able to, uh, show you with the Bluetooth here. Um, I'll have to grab a GoPro. Uh, I'll come back when we got the GoPro. Hang on. Uh, hey, uh, one quick note, everybody. That uh, potentiometer on there, that's to adjust the uh, flashing of the lights. I uh, just figured that out. So uh, you adjust the volume, obviously, with your phone. So when I uh, when we get home, I'll grab a GoPro and we'll show you how this works. Hey, everybody. All right, so we got the uh, the Bluetooth module here. We got the phone. I'm gonna turn it on. Bluetooth is started. Please Holy. connect. Holy smokes! <laughs> so connecting is okay. Oh my god! All right, so you can see that it's connected. I just got it plugged into my little hub here, and uh, we can just press play. Ooh. 
See the lights? All right, so that's how it works. So, uh, yeah, we got this one. Um, again, in the end, uh, I said, you know, comment Bluetooth on the video. And uh, you can have this one or you can have the one that you put together yourself. So thanks for uh, watching and coming through. And uh, we'll see you on the next one, all right? Easy.